no one seemed to get a little uh, emotional out there, maybe about the end of the seventh, uh, get a strikeout, kind of flex toward the dugout. How good were you feeling, and what went on in that little exchange? Uh, I was just kind of pissed off because they were, they were talking at Flim Flam yesterday, and uh, I don't really know what I said. I was just like – I was mad about uh, them stopping the game. They gave Gavin a warning for, like, saying that he tried to trip him, and, uh, I mean – it just like fueled my fire at the end of the day. Okay. Ethan, can you take us through that home run in the second inning and what you were kind of seeing at the plate? Uh, so I mean, I saw uh, our, our hitters before uh, getting getting blown up by fastballs up, and I wanted to push his fastball down. And uh, you know, he wasn't he wasn't he was getting me to get me over curveballs on the earlier in the count. But as soon as he got deep into the counts, kind of threw him in the dirt. So I knew I was going to get a dead red fastball, and I pushed him down already. So he just kind of gave me and I hit it. Uh, no, and Mark was just in here talking about how you're kind of physically stronger this year. You can see that taking you deeper into games. How much better do you feel personally, and how much does that help you when you're trying to reach back, you know, 90, 100 pitches into a start? Uh, it, just, it makes me feel good. Uh, I put on a lot of weight in the offseason, just a lot of muscle. Um, it makes it easier on my body. Um, like I, like you said, uh, I can go longer in my starts and like maintain my velo, and um, I don't have to like try to get into balls as much. Um, I kind of just let my body like fall down the mound and then create the velocity itself. Some guys can get a John. little emotional and, and a little erratic uh, when, when emotions get high. Um, it obviously made you even better late in the game today. What, what do you think that brings that about for you? And, and would, would you agree with that, that you get be better, you know, when when a game gets like it was today? Yeah, uh, I feed off emotion. Um, I feed off the crowd. Uh, it really just, like, makes me want to pitch with more aggression. Um, when you got the fat, when you get the, when you got the crowd uh, cheering for you like that, it really, it really pumps you up and it really wants you, uh, like, to make good for, like, do good for them. Um, and the emotion, I don't know. I kind of just like blacked out because I don't, I don't even remember what I said, to be honest. <laughs> Ethan, you know, at the start of the season, you were coming off the bench getting a pinch hit appearance in a blowout game. Now you are, you know, one of the guys who is contributing at the highest level for this lineup right now. Um, has your process changed from day to day, or are you still approaching everything the same? Uh, no, I just uh, kind of stick into the process and like. Trusting everything that our coaches say and trusting my teammates around me. I know they have uh, good stuff for me, and I know they're going to back me up even if I'm down because I'll back them up when they're down. Got two questions. I'll start with Ethan on this one. Did you ever get nervous on some of those fly balls that were kind of heading your way towards the warning track or anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then Noah, um, what has it been like for you working with Cole Messina? Like, how comfortable are you guys, you know, with each other at this point? Yeah, uh, me and Cole, we just have that relationship off the field. Um, that's what really is like key for him. Um, he knows how much I want to compete, and uh, he knows how much I know how much he wants to compete, and uh, that just puts us on the same page. It's, it's real comfortable. Um, it's it's really like the relationship that we've built that makes us on good terms at all time. Yeah, Ethan, what made their pitchers so so good today? Twelve strikeouts on the day for those guys. Uh, I mean, that starter knew really how to pitch. I mean, he was painting the corners, you know, throwing fastballs up, high spin, a lot of vertical break, and obviously that lefty that came in was very nefarious. I mean, he was just wicked. Like he was nasty. I mean, he had a really good two seam that just like broke away from everybody, and then we just had to make adjustments and. And they 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 threw strikes and they attacked us and those kids those kids can play they're good you know? yeah they okay. they can play and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see them in a regional or possibly on I mean they they're they're ballers uh, Noah did you know you had your career high in strikeouts today yeah <laughs> had, have you done that in high school before or you ever had twelve in a game or today the first time uh, at any level honestly I don't even remember <laughs> uh, maybe I don't know I'm not sure but. Ethan, is it easy to ignore and maybe not look at your personal stats, or maybe you do with this hot start you're on? I mean, what's what's the superstition you have about you want to play good and and, and not looking at things or or reading about it? Yeah, I I don't really read about it. You know, I'm just out here to win. You know, uh, I mean, I'm just trying to contribute. You know, because any day you can get cold. It's baseball. You know, 
and I'm out here just to keep working hard, staying staying on on course, and and just having fun. You know, I, like I love playing with this team. There's nothing better than this. Noah, how far do you feel like you've come since the tough times that you had at the beginning of last season with you know, struggling pitching and not finding a you know a like specific role because you were bouncing between bullpen and starting? Yeah. Um, I still feel good. Like I have, I still have the same mentality, but like it's it's really like the team. Like we we just work so hard. Um, and we put in so much work in the off season, and um, we just built that strong relationship where it's like we all want to go out there and play for each other and. We just want to win. We just want to. That's that's what we are. We're all just competitors, um, at the highest level. I've never seen more competitive people on a team than than the people we have here. Whether it's our pitchers, whether it's our hitters, whether it's guys that aren't even playing, um, they they want to be on the field just as bad. But it's also at the same time, well, our relationship really helps us because at the end of the day, we just want to win and we want to put on for South Carolina. Thank you guys. John. What's good, bro?